engineers are not always having the most esteem of crowd and um, when I look around here I can't remember being in the presence of so many people for an engineering feature. <laughs> Long ago I was invited when the Wyndham was um, being renovated. I was involved when I was a much younger engineer, I think I was about 24, 25 worked on the, the system to the end and I got an invitation, much to my surprise. I said to the manager, I can't understand with all the people invited, why am I here? And he said, well, if anything goes wrong, it's your fault. So <laughs> I hope <laughs> that's not the reason for me being here tonight. But um, let me welcome you all, Minister, Prime Minister, your cabinet, and um, I'm special thanks to Minister Leiber for being very patient because we have been having some issues in having this, sorry, in having uh, this traffic system implemented. A quick overview of this is uh, we have done this study at Minister Leiber's request. We have looked at traffic in and out of St. Kitts, major thoroughfare and all the intersections. We have engaged quite a number of students in the traffic count and the college to assist us. <coughs> we have done a full um, scope of work and a full report and we have identified the main areas that uh, warrants immediate attention and immediate um, implementation of this infrastructure. Let me first say that you probably will find this is the most modern of these equipment that exist. Um, Mr. Cross, um, who will, I will um, address his input and synergy, the contracting team that we have used in a, in a few minutes. But we have got military grade equipment and um, this means that they are probably the most robust you will find. We have also ensured that all the equipment are rated for the environment and we classify whenever you are on the islands, this is a man what we call the marine environment. It's susceptible to the hazardous environment of the seas and the, the salt air. We have also ensured that the lighting and the equipment are to the highest spec. The, the signals are LED. The controls are probably the most modern. The, um, the installation, we have gone through the process of ensuring that we have competitive pricing and sometimes we are doing these uh, type of um, modern and sensitive uh, procurement, you tend to want to go to, to the cheapest, sometimes the, the best known, but for us we have gone through the manufacturers of the equipment, we have looked at the best that there is and then we have gotten competitive prices and for the people who we have engaged to install it they have been doing this between Florida and Jamaica Mr. Manhurst has done quite a quite a bit in in Florida and um, Synergy has done quite a bit of those in Jamaica Mr. Cross who is our technical expertise in this who set up the control. He has been trained and, and continue to be trained on this system continuously and sometimes he's not available to us all, um, at our beck and call but he's always here when we need him. Most importantly we have the Prime Minister here to look at the system and to make sure that it works. That it works. Most importantly, so we're going to ask him to, to flip the switch at some point and ensure if it doesn't come on, then as I say in my opening remark, if it doesn't work, it's my fault. And on that basis, <laughs> let me thank you. 
my good family. I feel like I'm amongst my family. How do you feel? Family? Family? And they say all things, I won't say politics because it's not a political season, but all things be like, begin at home. And I'm here in East Barsity. So I must also recognize the warriors from the East. Warriors! You know? But this afternoon is not a time for speeches. I'm sure you want to see the lights on. But I want to forewarn you. When the lights go on, please don't stay in the street or walk across the street. Use the pedestrian crossings. It's a button to press. And I must forewarn the Prime Minister as well, unless he has all his emergency siren. You cannot park there as of tonight, Mr. Prime Minister. But as the director said, we looked at the, the traffic flow in St. Kitts. And believe it or not, we have almost 30,000 vehicles in St. Kitts. 30,000. And more are coming because every week the car carrier comes. And we are not into bad enough vehicles because we believe people first, in people first. And if you want to buy a vehicle, you have a choice. So we want to improve the traffic management. And this is what these traffic signals are going to do. Improve the traffic management and improve the safety on the roads. And we have also taken into consideration you, the pedestrians. It will be safe for you or safer for you uh, to, to use the pedestrian crossings. And we are an intelligible or intelligent people. And no matter what you would have heard, I am sure that after these traffic signals in the different intersections are functional, I will be forced to go back to the Prime Minister, the Minister of Finance, and say, PM, we did a, re a full report, you know. And report identified certain areas. So because of the, our fiscal constraints, we had to do phase one. But I want you, when you would have tested these lights, whether you're driving or you're walking, tell me so I can tell the Prime Minister, phase two must start now. Yes. You heard me? Yes. You said that like you mean it? Yes. So phase two will start soon, Mr. Prime Minister and Mr. Finance. We'll find some money. But really, my family, I believe it would be remiss of me if I did not thank the engineers from Public Works and in particular, Engineer Pemberton and the Director of Public Works as well. We would not have been here without the input of the Licensing Authority, Inspector Keynes. He has always been available whenever we needed him. So to uh, Superintendent Cromwell Henry, the man behind the legislation, and of course, supported by the Commissioner of Police, Ian Creeley. Give them all a wonderful round of applause for me. So I want to, to thank you as well for your patience. We should have had these lights before, but like all things, when things are, are, are mechanical, technical, they sometimes go wrong. But I can assure you, they're going to go right tonight. And I will say no further but invite the Honourable Prime Minister to turn the switch on and let the traffic lights flow. Turn on the switch, Prime Minister. Stay up to date with news, programs and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS. St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.